Hey, so you're thinking about moving to Tampa and you want to get familiar with what the city's like, where's the airport, how's the traffic, where's downtown? Well, we're going to be going over that today. We're going to take you on a little tour of a Google map and we're going to get going right now. So if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living in Tampa Bay and the surrounding cities like Tampa, well, subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications. And that way you can be the first to know about everything going on in Tampa Bay. My name is Amy and this is my partner, Jason, and we get calls from people just like you looking to make the move to Tampa Bay every single day. We absolutely love it. Whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or set up a Zoom meeting, and we can help you with that smooth move to Tampa Bay. And remember, all of the information is in the description below. Hi, so here we are looking at the city of Tampa on Google Maps, and this is gonna be a broad overview of the city of Tampa and just going over the map and getting you familiar with the area. So let's take a look at the map here. I have it kind of zoomed out so that you can see the Tampa Bay, the Gulf of Mexico, kind of the whole area. So Tampa is this area that is outlined in the red dots right here. And then this area, this body of water right here is the Tampa Bay, okay? Out here you have the Gulf of Mexico. This portion right here is Pinellas County. It actually goes all the way up here, but, and then the city of St. Petersburg is right here. That's our, that's the sister city. I, I would call these two sister cities, St. Petersburg and Tampa. Um, so let's kind of zoom in. You know what, let me show you real quick. So there is a, this is the mouth of the Tampa Bay. Down here um, is the Sarasota area and you're gonna find the Sarasota beaches. Um, these are the Gulf beaches in Pinellas County. So anytime you are going to be traveling to the beaches in Tampa, you're gonna be driving across the bridges to get over here. So we will talk about those. But this bridge right here is called the Sunshine Skyway Bridge, and it connects Pinellas County down here to Manatee County down to Sarasota. So if you wanna to go to like Anna Maria Island or anything like that, you're gonna to have to go across the Sunshine Skyway Bridge it's a really cool bridge. Um, I think it's beautiful and it can be a little nerve wracking to go over depending on when you're going on it. Um, it goes way up in the air and it lets cruise ships and things go under it. So really cool bridge. You definitely need to check it out. Okay, so let's go zoom in a little bit here so you can see a little more. Okay, so as you can see, this Southern part of Tampa is kind of in the Tampa Bay and that little green area down here is mostly an air force base it's the mcdill air force base um this bridge that comes across from pinellas county or if you're going into st petersburg that bridge is the gandy bridge i use it most frequently i actually like that bridge because it is only two lanes going either direction and it seems less traveled i mean i just prefer it over the other bridges it's calmer and it seems cleaner and stuff like that the next bridge up here is the howard franklin bridge that bridge is heavily traveled i would say there's a lot of traffic i think it has more accidents than the other bridges and it is very busy there's construction going on they're building a new bridge and so that one has more lanes of traffic and it brings you more centrally, I guess, into Tampa, and you don't have to drive on this tollway. So this is a tollway. I think people like to avoid that. Um, so that's why they probably use the Howard Franklin because it gets you right on 275. And then up here, this one's gonna get you into like Clearwater Beach is right there and into the Northern or more North into Tampa. They all kind of go into the central part of uh, Tampa and that is the Courtney Campbell Causeway. Okay, so after you get over here, um, let's kind of zoom in, just gonna kind of talk about the freeways a little bit. So your major freeways are, um, so the Gandy Bridge comes in and then it pops you right onto the Selman Expressway, which is a toll. So if you don't wanna pay a toll, then you're not gonna wanna come, to, come in this way. Um, the Howard Franklin, it brings you right into the 275. That's gonna bring you downtown um, and you can get out east, run into the 75, the I-4, all of those. And then up here, you can also get north on the 275. So 
definitely you're going to be traveling on the 275 at some point when you're in Tampa. Very, you know, important freeway interstate that we have here. Okay, so let's kind of talk about like just some of the different areas. So I told you in the beginning, this Gandy Bridge, if you're coming from Pinellas County, you're gonna come in, if you go right or south, you're gonna have, um, there is a um, beach area and it's called Picnic Island over here. And it's a really nice park. Um, there is boat ramps and you can see the Tampa Bay. There's a uh, disc golf and just a lot of green space and you know shelters and things like that. That's one park that's right here on this Tampa Bay. You can see the city of St. Petersburg down here. So it's super, it's a nice park. Okay, and then this is just the Southern area of Tampa. All of this is South Tampa. You're gonna find mostly residential here. And I would say it's very, mixed residential so you're going to find all types of living um, whether you're looking for apartments condos you're going to find beautiful luxury homes and then you're just going to find your regular neighborhoods as well so a lot going on there um if you come up a little bit north you can see this is called west shore um the west shore area is home to some of the things like you're going to have the international plaza mall which is a really nice mall you're going to find your find your high-end and luxury uh stores there so definitely something that is um a popular area and actually there's an apple store in that mall and then here this is kind of like midtown i would say you've got trader joe's and you have a Whole Foods. Let's see, where's Whole Foods? Should be right here somewhere. Why is it not popping up? Um, but you're gonna find lots of eateries and things like that. This area is just more older. Um, and let's see, Raymond James St Stadium is right here. So that's home to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A uh, nice stadium, easy to get to right across the bay. We live over on the Pinellas County side. so we have to travel in. Um, and then you've got the Tampa International Airport. I love our airport. I think it's an amazing airport. We used to live in Kansas City and we would travel here from Kansas City and it takes around two and a half hours to fly here. And then you get to the airport and the airport's really clean and easy to use and maneuver. Um, and then you can hop on the highway and head right on over to the beaches and you can be to the beach in like less than 45 minutes. I think that's an amazing thing and a secret of living in this area. We were shocked when we came here. I mean, this is a big deal to me. I love the beach and like to think that I can fly, you know, less than three hours and then hop on a, in a car and be to the beach in less than an hour is, I don't know, out of this world to me. I mean, one of the biggest reasons we moved here, we think it's awesome. Okay, so this whole area right here, um, so you're gonna have, you have the Tampa International Airport there. And like I said, you have the Raymond James Stadium right here. Okay, so heading east here, you're gonna run into Seminole Heights and old Seminole Heights um, and Tampa Heights. And this is gonna be your older uh, suburbs in the city and a lot of residential area there. And then just south of that, you're gonna have uh, Tampa Heights, which is um, same thing, it's a suburban, older suburban area. So, and then just below that, you see Armature Works here. I did look that up so that we could see it. Um, and then you have this river walk that connects like from here and Armature Works all the way down to the Channel Side District over here. So let's kind of zoom in and look more closely at the downtown slash, I don't know, this is where all the happening stuff is. Okay, so you have Hyde Park Village here. So Hyde Park Village is going to be a shopping and dining, kind of an upscale area. Um, lots of really, really pretty homes. And um, you're gonna have things like anthropology and like I said, more of an upscale area. It's also home to the University of Tampa. So if you have any kiddos going there, that is where you will be. There's also the, um, Bayshore Boulevard. <laughs> Don't want to miss out on a drive on this one. This um, boulevard is so beautiful. There are so many beautiful homes in this area. Definitely a very, very beautiful neighborhood. And you're going to find a lot of, you know, multi-million dollar homes there, you know, really close to downtown and, you know, close to everything actually. So 
you definitely pay for your homes there, uh, the price of it. If you come up Bayshore Boulevard, you can exit onto Davis Island. Let's move our screen over. So Davis Islands, this is more of an exclusive area, I would say. Also beautiful, lots of huge waterfront homes. Um, very mixed, I would say. Um, older homes, brand new homes. Home to people like Tom Brady and Derek Jeter. So if you know those guys, they lived here on Davis Islands. Um, there's a Davis Island dog beach down here. Really, really, really nice neighborhood. Exclusive neighborhood, I should say. Okay, so just north of Davis Island, you're gonna run into the heart of Tampa. So this is downtown Tampa. Your typical downtown area, except there are um, some areas with some high rise, beautiful luxury condos, um, beautiful buildings. Um, so if you're looking to live that high rise life, then this would be a great place to do it. Um, there is this district here called the Channel Side District, and you're gonna find the Florida Aquarium there, which is really amazing. And then you're also gonna find the port. So if you're taking a cruise, this is where you're gonna go out. You're also gonna find um, there is a ship here that is um, has been turned into a museum, so you can go there. Lots of things to do. One thing that's newer in the area is the Sparkman Wharf, and that is like an outdoor green space, recreation area, lots of food places. So you can dine there, you can watch the cruise ships go out. Really, really cute area, I love it. There is also a Splitsville there. So definitely a fun place to go to. Um, and this Channel Side District is really nice. Like I said before, it does connect on the river walk, so you can get on here. It's 2.6 miles and go um, north into uh, further into Tampa. Okay, so now zooming out a little bit, we're gonna go over the Ybor City. Uh, this is a historic area um, known for its Cuban sandwich and cigars. We ate at this La Segunda Central Bakery amazing is all i can say amazing definitely gotta go there great cuban sandwich they have a bakery so you can get cuban bread you can get cookies really good place busy most of the time so make sure you plan ahead there's also the columbia restaurant that's amazing i haven't been to this location but i've been to the columbia restaurant and it is so yummy so check that out um ybor city is also known for its nightlife so like I said before, uh, Ybor City is known for its cigars, its Cuban sandwiches, and nightlife. So check that out. Okay, so coming up here from Ybor City right here, uh, let's zoom in a little bit. This is East Tampa, and it is home to places like Bush Gardens, New Tampa, and Adventure Island. Also, uh, you'll find the Mosey Museum of Science and Industry. All of those are great things to uh, be able to go to and have access to if you live in the city of Tampa. There's many attractions here. That's one of the things that we love about living in Tampa or in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, we're pretty close to Tampa. And so we love that we have all of these um, things to do. There's just, I don't know, so many things to do in the area. As you can see, there's the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino right here. You've got the state fairgrounds. Um, you've got Emily Arena. This part of Tampa is also home to the University of South Florida. So if you are going to be heading to the university, this is the area that you would be in. Okay, so up here in the new Tampa area, you're gonna find a lot of golf courses, newer development, um, big suburban area, lots of homes um, on golf courses with country clubs and things like that. So. This is a draw for families, I would say, um, people really wanting that suburban life. So um, all in all, Tampa has a lot to offer. I think it's a really great place to live. We love it here and are so glad we made the move. Okay, so really quick here, I just wanted to show you guys the highest priced home in the city of Tampa right now is at $14,950,000. So coming in right under 15 million. This home um, is located right along the Tampa Bay, close to that Howard Franklin Bridge. Um, so if you wanna live that really 
a luxury life, that would be something you wanna check out. That's a wrap on getting around Tampa. Check out our vlog tour of Tampa, and until next time. All right, guys, so we're back, and Amy just concluded the uh, map tour, the Google tour of Tampa, and we hope it was informative. You did a great job of covering all the major points, and um, you know that's one thing we, as, we, as we've mentioned, and some of you know, we made the move from Kansas City a few years ago, and there's nothing we regret except for doing more research. And you know what we hope to do here is to help you do the same and, and make it a smoother move here and help with that information. Yeah, I think um, you know we hope you found the information helpful, and you can kind of see how the city works and be familiar with where everything is, the airports, the highways, all of the things. Um, and of course, if you have any questions about anything we went over today, feel free to comment below. Or if you want us to go find something out for you in one of the suburbs or something like that, please put that in the comments because we love to go help you with your smooth move here to Tampa Bay. And um, until next time, we'll see you around town.